Good morning, Glads. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon, and this is your KWHS News. Juniors and seniors, here's the lineup for scheduled college visits. Remember, you must have a pass from the Counseling Center to attend these visits. Check these out. On March 21st, CU Boulder has a visit scheduled with us during advisory and at lunch the same day. The Paul Mitchell School will be here in the Lower Commons. And for a little different location, jot down the visit from Norwich University, a private military college in Vermont. They will be visiting the NJROTC classes on March 22nd during periods 1, 2, 3, and 5. If you would like to attend this presentation, check in with the Counseling Center for a pass. April visits kick off with the rescheduled visit from Colorado Mesa on April 3rd. On April 10th, the reps from the Barbizon Southwest School will be here at lunch in the Lower Commons. And and then, on April 17th, the reps from Western Colorado University are scheduled to visit. If you missed any of these dates for these visits or want more information, stop by this counseling center or check their website. Juniors, if you would like to join the SAT test prep seminar on Saturday, March 23rd, please be sure to register with the counseling center. The cost of the seminar is $89.99. And seniors, you can also sign up by checking in with Mr. Thiel in the counseling center. Seniors, if you would like to have your photos in the senior slideshow, stop by the counseling center to see Mr beta for the Snapchat and email addresses. Remember, your photos must be school appropriate and your deadline, no fooling, is April 1st. AP students, the deadline to pay for your AP test is Friday, March 15th. You can pay for those tests in the business office during lunch and after school until the end of the day. When we return from the break, we'll have a poetic tribute to the purple toilet. But first, we're sending it to the sports desk for our gladiator sports update with Jared Grace. I'm Jared Grace, and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. NJROTC Cadets, the Military Bowl is this Saturday, and here are a few tips to help you have a great time from start to finish. First, please check with Cadet V Hill or Master Chief Malonis to ensure you have first and last names on the guest list for the gate. Second, remember to have your military ID or driver's license ready to show the gate guard to gain access to the base. Third, please be sure you leave enough time to get through the gate so that you can arrive to the officers club early or on time. There can be considerable traffic at the main gate on the weekend, so please plan to arrive at the club no later than 5.30 p.m. Lastly, and most importantly, a little bird told us that Master Chief is going to bust his moves on the dance floor, so make sure your phones are charged and remember, have a great time. Men's basketball team, please return your combo locks to Coach Johnson so you don't have to pay a conditions fee at the end of the year. In swimming news, the boys hope to keep their momentum going from last week following their huge win over Pueblo Central. A baseball team is traveling to Pueblo tomorrow for a tournament at Runyon Field. The boys take on Grand Junction Central at 2 p.m. and then Greeley Central at 7 p.m. And on Saturday, the game is at 7 p.m. against Pueblo South. The boys would appreciate a strong fan base at this tourney. So if you can make it, get ready to cheer them on. Our Lady Glad's soccer team lost eight seniors last year and are working hard to improve their skills. But the ladies lost a heartbreaker on Friday afternoon to the Montrose Indians 6-0. The ladies took on the foundation. Mountain Fort Carson Trojans, but continue to struggle and loss. Keep your heads up, ladies. You're on those wins soon. The ladies are at home at 4 p.m. against the Pueblo East Eagle. Come cheer them on to a victory. Finally, a gladiator track team was at Gary Berry Stadium for the first meet of the season this past weekend. The team is showing some early promise. Nathan Broadbent finished first in the 100 meter dash, while Ryan Outler placed second in the 800 meter run. Isaiah Mitchell ran a fast 110 meter hurdle, placed fourth. The men's 4x2 and 4x4 relay teams are pretty fast this year, placing third and first respectively. In the discus, Calvin Hodges placed second and Luis Maldonado placed fourth. Calvin also placed third in shot put. On the ladies' side of the house, standouts include the ladies' 4x2 meter relay. They finished 5th, and Reina Crochelle finished 5th in discus. If you are in Pueblo on Saturday, stop by Dutch Clark Stadium to cheer on our track and field stars. They would appreciate your support. That's it for your Glad Your Sports update. I'm Jared Grace. Now back to the news desk with Kieran and Ethan. Thanks for that update, Jared. Ladies, the dresses in Becca's closet are waiting for you to take them home. If you are shopping for a prom dress, you have plenty of time, but set up an appointment just the same. Remember, these dresses are free and yours to keep. And now, here's an ode to the Purple Throne. The Purple Toilet is making rounds this week. 
It's for your change, not for your cheeks. Money raised goes to save the labs, so if the toilet lands in your room, just pitch in to pay the tab. Student cabinet will move the purple throne, so please don't attempt to move it on your own. Thank you, Asia. That was a lovely poem. And now, we're heading somewhere on campus for Miss Betsy's lunch menu. Live from Six Miller's class. Six Miller's? Six Miller's six, class. Six Miller's. It's Six what, Miller's. What's this going on? Hey, this is the pie in the face contest in the math department on Thursday, right? Yeah. And Mr. Wallace's box could use some more stuff. Okay, Mr. Wallace, or the new teacher. Yeah, yeah, let's get in there. Pie in the face. Let's do it. Take care of that, folks. Come on, yeah. get down here. Take care of this. Okay. We're having lunch today. What are we having? Yeah. Pie! So it's rancher pie. So, rancher oh, pie. Because I mean, shepherds deal with Are you sheep. having pie on pie day? No. <gasps> we'll get that later. Okay. So we're talking about spheres. Do you have any melons? I have some cantaloupe down there. Do you need some? Okay. Sphere. 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 A sphere. A sphere. That's one of the spheres. She's leaving. Sphere. Spheres are fun. We're not done. And then uh, Thursday. I don't remember now. The Fountain Creek Fish. Sandwich. That's on it. So come on right. down and see us. Have a oh. great time. Okay, we're saying goodbye. Yay. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Glads, please see Miss Betsy in the cafeteria or go online to add money to your lunch account. Glads, on April 25th, our aspiring engineers will be showcasing their senior projects. Come check out project presentations and activities from all the engineering classes, including aerospace, civil, architectural, intro, and principles. The event will take place in the WHS Auditorium at 6 p.m. Juniors and seniors, save the date for April 20th. That's when the prom is scheduled. It will be at the Double Tree World Arena from 6 p.m. to midnight. Outside guest forms are now available in the main office. The deadline to return those is April 12th. Starting next week, you can purchase discounted tickets for $45 per person from March 18th through the 20th. After those dates, the prices will go up to $50 until April 16th. Keep this in mind because we need a head count for dinner. You will not be able to buy tickets at the door, so get your tickets early. And remember, your ticket price includes dinner. And finally, please put down your cell phones for a moment. Yeah, you. Right in the front row? That's it. Put it down. Thank you. Mr. Hoffman and Mr. Shu would like to share some important information regarding those cell phones. Take it away, gentlemen. Good morning, Gladiators. Uh, Mr. Shu and I would like to take a couple of moments of your time this morning to talk with you a little bit about our current cell phone policy, some of the things that we're looking to do moving forward uh, with our cell phone policy here at Whitefield High School. As you all know, our district is fairly strict when it comes to cell phone policies throughout the school day. Over the years, I've had several students come talk to me about perhaps loosening up the cell phone policy or doing something a little bit different. I just wanted to let everybody know that the current policy here at Whitefield states uh, cell phones and headphones can be used before school, before 725, and after school, after 245 within the building. So that's part of our policy. The other part of the policy says that cell phones can be used in the classroom setting for educational purposes with teacher permission at any time. So we're not going to change anything with that, but our school board has asked us to take a look at the cell phone policy as it's currently written. It's been a while as a district since we have looked at that policy. And starting next week, Mesa Ridge High School and Whitefield High School are both going to allow the use of cell phones during and headphones during lunch period only. So this is a big step for us as a district. We're going to do a trial during the fourth quarter to see how it works, to see if it's something that we can live with moving forward. So once again, both Whitefield High School and Mesa Ridge High School are going to allow the use of cell phones and headphones during lunch only starting in the fourth quarter. We're going to start this on Monday. Mr. Shub is going to talk a little bit more about some additional information at this time. Thank you, Mr. Hoffman. Here are the parameters for you guys as we move forward with cell phones at lunch. We need to be respectful. When someone is addressing you, you need to make sure you take your earbuds out and that you're listening to them being a good listener. If you're hoping to listen to music or stream or whatever, we're doing that only in headphones, not on a Bluetooth speaker or anything else. That is for you to listen to, not for other people. When the bell rings to end lunchtime, you need to put your technology away. As we start moving in the hallway, thing you need to have that put away. So when the bell rings, put your cell phone, your headphones away. Please make sure that you are doing this because that is not a battle we want our fifth hour teachers to endure. So please make sure you're getting that squared away. We're going to continue with the same line of consequences for you. So if you're sitting on your first cell phone violation, your next one, parent or guardian will have to pick it up and you'll have four lunch detentions. And as that progresses, that's where you're going to fall for consequences. We're not using phones or headphones in any way, shape or form during passing periods. The same rules go for your headphones and your earbuds. If we see them on your chest over by my lanyard, we will take them. So please make sure you put them away. We're not using those during passing periods. And then Mr. Hoffman and I, we're going to meet during the fourth quarter to assess how this moves forward to 
see if this is a privilege that we continue with. This is a trial run. You are paving the future potentially for Widefield High School with our cell phone policy. Make sure that that road is smooth for future generations. Thanks guys, have a good day. What a great idea. Glads, let's make this work for everyone. Thanks for listening today. I'm Kieran Doolittle. And I'm Ethan Simon. And this was your KWHS News.